Contour hedgerows and alley cropping are two sustainable agriculture methods that can help to improve your soil. Proper use and design of these systems can provide nitrogen and other nutrients to your crops as well as moisture conserving mulch. Hedgerows are rows of tree or shrub species that are managed as hedges. Alley cropping is a system of crop production that intersperses hedgerows of nitrogen fixing trees or other fast growing plants between rows of crops or fruit trees. The spaces between the hedgerows are called alleys and so the name alley cropping. In alley cropping systems that use nitrogen fixing trees, the hedgerows are cut back periodically and the prunings are applied to the soil as mulch for the adjacent crops. Studies in many tropical areas have shown improved soil levels of nitrogen and potassium, as well as the addition of minor nutrients from the use of this technique. Here's another good one. This is Acacia angustissima. And this is, this is one that's real easy to come in and prune. And you can, you sit in there, you're holding it, you prune it, you put a little tension on the wood, you rest it, against your uh, trunk of your body and you, you hold it with your arm huh. and there you don't have to drop it and bend over and pick up because it gets harder for us guys when we go. <laughs> then you just increases in soil organic matter result in better water retention and improved aeration of the soil alley cropping can be an excellent practice on atolls Many atoll farmers practice mulching and composting. Mulch serves as a nutrient bank, storing the nutrients in the organic matter and slowly releasing them to the plant that breaks down. Mulching plants improves nutrient and water retention in the soil, suppresses weed growth, and encourages worms and favorable soil microbial activity. Nitrogen-fixing trees are gaining recognition as a renewable source of nutrient-rich organic material. Nitrogen-fixing trees are able to utilize atmospheric nitrogen that is not available to other trees. When the leaves and branches of these trees drop off or are harvested, the nitrogen becomes available to other plants. Many nitrogen-fixing trees are able to establish themselves on poor or degraded sites. The trees are also able to grow rapidly and produce large amounts of nitrogen-rich green foliage in harsh environments. Many nitrogen-fixing trees can be pruned as often as four times a year. The trimmed leaves and branches are used as nutrient-rich mulch for orchard trees and any number of traditional garden crops. Alley cropping can be used in short-term crop production or in agroforestry systems with fruit trees. When used in the production of short-term crops, the prunings are spread over the whole crop area. When used with fruit trees, the prunings are concentrated under the tree canopy. The hedgerows provide protection from wind to the alleys, providing a favorable microclimate for crops. When hedgerows are planted densely with the contour of the land, they can significantly reduce soil erosion. This is a practice known as vegetative contour barriers or contour hedgerows, a viable alternative farming system to expensive terracing. Some species may also be used as fodder for livestock. Selection of the best species to use for your hedgerows should receive careful consideration. Probably the most important considerations are the environmental tolerances of the tree. Is it appropriate for the rainfall, temperature, and soil type of your site? Other factors to consider include nitrogen fixing ability, shape, growth rate, weediness, ease of establishment, and its benefit to your farming system. The plant growth rate, habit, and canopy shape will determine the amount of biomass the plant can produce. Hedgerow plants with vigorous growth, multi-branching, and large canopies can produce greater quantities of mulching materials. A species with a higher growth rate will produce more mulch, but it will also require more frequent pruning. 
Hedgerow plants with a deep taproot system will take up nutrients that are not available to shallow-rooted crops. Plants with a deep taproot are less likely to compete with the crop plants for surface nutrients and water. It is important to select a species that will be easily controlled under your planned management system. At the same time, you want a species that is easy to establish. Some species suitable as hedgerows for the Pacific region include pigeon pea, caliandra, flamingia, glaricidia, sespania, and lucena. As you have seen, windbreaks and hedgerows can provide many advantages to farmers in the Pacific region. Besides controlling soil erosion, minimizing crop damage, and reducing moisture loss, they also can provide nutrients and mulch, and both hedgerows and windbreak plants can be used as fruit and fodder crops. These systems should be carefully considered, with thought given to design and routine maintenance in order to maximize their protection and output. For more information about hedgerows, windbreaks, and appropriate species, see your local extension agent or contact your local Natural Resources Conservation Service office. You may also visit the following website. Protect.